Hey guys, good morning. I am back with another vlog. I haven't been here for a minute. It's been busy. You'll see in a while. You'll see, but it's been busy. I am just trying to clean up a little bit. It's one of those, it's one of those uh, times where I had a very early appointment this morning and then I have a little teeny tiny break. So in that little teeny tiny break, I'm cleaning a few things. I have the top to my Valentino soaking right now in um, Spray 9. I find it gets the gunk off it. And all the gunk is is the acrylic monomer going through the towel that I use onto the metal and then just kind of sticking to it. And it creates like a paste. So I'm getting that off of there. Everything was totally clean when I left the other day, but of course now it's dusty. Oh, I know what we need to do. Let's take you for a Lyme update. So if you've been here for a minute, you'll know what I mean. Okay, so here they are. The lighting's gonna be weird because we're in the window. That's a little better. So, like, I have an average size hand. Isn't that crazy? And my nails are stained. Like, don't come at me, please. <laughs> They're overdue for a fill and they are very ink stained. This is the other one, a little smaller, but still substantial. And then this guy here. And there's new branches coming. Like this up here, this is a new branch. Um, there's right there, there's like little tiny limes coming everywhere but sometimes they do fall off. So it takes them a minute to get kinda, I don't know, <laughs> solidified. And then of course the babies that are cooking. Um, cooking, I'm sure that's not what you say, how you say that. But I thought I would take all those babies off of there and then this would be a little less. And then all of a sudden it like shot out again. So anyway, it's having babies, that's all there is to it. The ivy of course is grown again. Very much needs some water. This also very much needs some water. But it is only hooked, let me get my hand out of there, by the littlest, littlest bit. I've just let it overgrow. Anyway, it needs repotted. We'll see. And then this guy, they all need a good dusting. This guy's doing okay. He seems to like to be a little bit dry. So that's the plan update. I know uh, some of my Instagram followers clients basically are very invested in the limes so that's really cool all right i'm gonna finish cleaning off my desk um i've got part of it done and decided to soak it's at the top off of my valentino i just cleaned that filter out so i'm going to clean off my desk have my protein coffee I'm going to have to say I really prefer that protein coffee over any iced coffee that I purchase. Um, I really, really, really like it. But I got vanilla protein instead of the caramel by accident, but I thought I would just, you know, live with it because protein is expensive, those pre-made proteins. Um, and it's not half bad, I just put a little bit extra of the caramel macchiato creamer. It's okay. It's good. That's the trick. You know, today's gonna be weird, I'm gonna be starving at a really weird time. Because I was here so early. I feel like you guys have really weird light because of the sun coming. Sorry about that. So tell me about all the new things you've bought. So all the new nail things. I feel like I'm behind right now in the new nail things. So tell me about that. Tell me what you bought. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you do like. 
new machines, new nail art brushes, new nail art, like, like new paints. Just feeling like there's so many new things right now. Jeepers. Feeling like there's so many new things right now. And I'm kind of like behind on them. So I'd love to know what you guys are buying. Um, and let me know what you're buying for drill bits. I'm perfectly happy with mine, with the brand I get or whatever. But it is time to get new ones now. I would love to know what you're buying. Ah, Japers. Our hot water here is like hot enough to make tea with. Oh, that's so much better already. Like I said, it just gets like gunky. Even though I wipe it, like I wash it. Oh, that's so much easier. And I just keep brushes like this. So this was like an onyx brush. I think I got it from Creative Beauty. These are amazing for cleaning stuff. Basically things just exactly like that. Like that is the perfect tool for the job. And they clean and they dry easy. So I always give that like a good shake to kind of get some of the water out of the tracks. And then I just prop it up. And then I'll come along in a few minutes and give that another kind of good little shake. And then most of the water will be out of it. And I will be able to carry on with my day. Cleaning the dust off of sinks has got to be one of the hardest jobs. It just seems like no matter what you do, your sink area is always dirty. I feel like it always is. Like mine is like scratched or something. And I like to bleach it, but not in the middle of the day. Like. Not when I have clients coming in because it is a small room and bleach, you know, it does smell pretty strong. So I don't like to bleach it when I have people coming. I try to remember to do it at the end of the day. Anyway. Oh, hey, here we are still all over the place. So I am just watching the lighting. It's really weird in here. You're backlit. Anyway, I'm done making excuses for the lighting. But I'm watching this video. I'm a minute and 23 seconds in. It's by Taylor Wynn. If you don't know who Taylor Wynn is, look her up. She's great. I love watching her stuff. Um, it's weird when I first watched her like first video, I was like, mm, I don't know if I like love her. Like I don't, I don't know if I really like her content. And then the more I watched her, the more I was like, oh my freaking god, I love you. Regardless. <laughs> That was a tangent. Um, anyway, she posted a video if I were starting a YouTube channel today, real advice and tips for starting in 2022, which has nothing to do with the rant that I'm about to go on, but it kind of does. So she was just like, she watched a video by Catherine Manning, who is one of my favorite YouTubers. Again, didn't think I liked her when I watched her first video, ended up adoring her. She is amazing. Okay, heading back to the point here. So Taylor said something that kind of matched up with something else and just hit a spark. So there was a lady that posted on Instagram this morning. Where did it go? Right here. She's from near me and she just posted this story and it said, Instagram these days summed up in one photo. It was a picture. Um, show suggested accounts that pay a bunch of money. I turn off suggestions and an ad comes up next. Just an FYI that small business accounts are getting buried so deep, drastically changed in the last two weeks. It's hard slash stressful time for small businesses on social accounts. Give your small biz besties some love. So I've noticed that as well. 
of course, but I haven't been as active on Instagram. I haven't been posting as much and I haven't been posting to my stories as much. When I get busy, that takes the back seat. Probably not how it's supposed to be, but it's how it is. So that came up. Her and I had a little conversation about it. I shared it to my Instagram as well, hoping that maybe a few people will see it and give some small businesses in their own area some love. But then Taylor's video comes up and I start watching it and because I just love these how to do YouTube or if you were going to start YouTube. Literally, I never take a thing from them, but it's they're fun to watch because it kind of gets me inspired to film. I haven't been inspired to film because I've been busy, so it gets put on the back burner. So where I was going with that. Um, she talks about TikTok and how easy it is to get through a video, how you are just four seconds, nope, two seconds, nope, gonna watch it for three minutes, probably not, nope. You can just scroll, 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 scroll. And I do find that when I even myself get on TikTok, you're like, it's like going down a rabbit hole. You just manically scroll and you don't even know what the video was about. You're like, nope, and you just carry on. And anyway, so her video was just talking about, let's just, let's just listen to what she has to say. So I have different ideas to add on to that. This video was inspired by Catherine. I'll link her video down below so you can watch that as well. But here are my 15 YouTube tips. All right, number one is be realistic and think about input versus output. One of the biggest differences with social media now is that TikTok exists. And while this video is about YouTube, the fact that TikTok exists and that videos can be seen so much easier on TikTok than they can be on YouTube with minimal effort compared to YouTube is something that I don't think you should overlook and really think about when you're starting. Anyway, that was what she said and it just hit a spark in me because it's so true. We live in this world where we're just like, nope, 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 nope. So I guess the moral of the story, go show your small YouTuber accounts some love. Maybe if you haven't seen them on your For You page, Lately For You page, is that, what, is that what we call everything now? I'm not sure. But if you haven't seen it lately on your page, maybe you're just not getting, um, maybe it's just not coming up. Sometimes if you haven't interacted, I have one YouTuber that I follow. It's not for lack of watching. I had watched like a lot of her videos. I had binge watched her videos. Um, it's Peach Manifesto, Jessie Peach Manifesto, and she does not come up at all on my subscription page at all. Uh, every once in a while I see her on Instagram and I'm like, dang, I haven't seen anything from her in ages. I go on and look and she's been posting like crazy. So I end up binge watching videos again, but it's something like that, you know, she's a small YouTuber and I'm not getting shown her stuff. Even though I have turned on all notifications, you know, everything is turned on, but she's a small account and I'm I'm not seeing them. There's just so much value for us as nail techs and for us as women and for us as people to gather from the small YouTubers, but we're just not being shown. So if there's a small YouTuber in your life or a business owner with a Instagram page that maybe you haven't seen in your, um, in your homepage for a while, go look them up, go look them up give them a comment, give them a heart, even just comment some hearts if you don't know what to say or if it doesn't even apply to you. Sometimes if their business doesn't apply to you, you know, you're a dude and they do eyelash extensions, I don't know. Share it, comment it, be nice to your fellow content creators.